family so here we go again here we are in the heavenly card room of Abbe Yehoah with this powerful message already titled for you and me right at part one the mystery of stones revealed Yehoah the sexual husband part four so family case I shared this in the news feed and you haven't listened to one and two I encourage you to do just that in order for you to understand we have come a long way this is a segment that is being called what part four so what happened to one, two, three? What took place over there? So that is why you need to go and listen to one because we only have just one alphabet to go. We unveil about how many alphabet already? About five. So just one to go. All right. All right now. So the mystery of stones. Okay. The first letter go for uh sector. And the second one test up. Just go and listen to it. I think that will be better. No need to be repeating every word. So it is really powerful and profound, powerfully established. So right now we we'll go for the very last lecture, which is S, because it's the, it is plural. Listen to one in order for you to understand stones, mysteries. Okay. Now we we'll go for the S. So what could that be? Hmm? Okay, the first letter. Here we go. S. Stick. Staff or scepter. Now, what is scepter? Scepter is the authority 
of which every king on earth rule. Okay? Now, you as a man, you have a scepter between your time, in your time. There is a scepter over there, the very one the Nigeria people call cassava. You have a scepter in which you rule as a man, in which you rule as a husband, in which you rule as a father, in which you rule. That is what makes you a man. You rule. That is what makes you a man. Okay? That is what makes you a man. Your scepter, your penis. Okay? So go and listen to what? In order to understand. This is the mystery of stones. Scepter. Okay? Powerfully established. Now the second letter, what did they go for? T. Testicles. So what could that be? Testicles. And English, not English word, the word is to even have it. That testicles, testimony come from this word called testicles. I also give the link. That one you can find right up there too. Okay. That in those days, even though they want to swear in court, men need to hold their testers in their hands. And say, whatever you are going to give today, nothing but the truth. And we also see that idiom right in Genesis 24, verses 1 to 3. When Father Abraham said to Eliezer, his servant of his house, Come and hold, he said, Put your hand under my tie and swear to me that you are not going to give a wife unto my son in this daughters of, among these daughters of Canaanist. And we also find that idiom again right at Revelation 19, verses 16. He said, under his star, in the tie of the king of kings, a name is being written, king of kings. I don't know if I don't know. Under his, under his testicle, there is a testimony of children, wife. Of course, you know, he has every part. After Apostle chapter 1, verses 9 to 11 said, he went up, being a man, is coming right back in like manner. Every part of the body is there, over there. All right. It's over there. Mm -hmm. Now, Revelation 5, 6 or 5 also make it so clear that when Yehukan I saw or uh, the vision was being revealed unto him, he said, weep, weep not, for the lion of the tribe of Yehuda has prevailed. So, right still in heaven, he is still a man. Okay? That, is, that was why we were able to see his color. He is still a man and he's coming back because he went into heaven being a man. He's coming right back again as a man. Luke chapter 2. He's circumcised. If you don't have a penis, how can he circumcised? He's is the rod we are establishing over here. All right. So you also have this testimony right in his testicles. All right now. So and the letter E, excuse me, the letter O. O, I think, yeah, it's O now. Ovulation. So what is ovulation? Ovulation is the process whereby a woman releases an egg. Okay. Now what is N? N again simply means nature call so what is nature call when egg is being released and the uh, sperm is already been prepared dropped in the testers is to do the call nature it is nature that is natural you, you have to go and bang, bang in order to plant seed all right now so what is the e simply me ejaculation you ejaculate when you bang you have to ejaculate powerfully established listen this one you can find uh two letters or uh, yeah two letters right at uh, one video um, yes which is the part three Okay, so th this, th this, you see how it goes. The f this should be called your penis, the S, which is the scepter, the T, your testers. A woman has, needs to give you egg ovulation. Then you need to do the job, nature call. Then you need to ejaculate, <laughs> planting a seed. Then where? Here is the seed. So that's what we want to look into now. Huh? We, we, the, 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 the seeds, holy seeds. They are holy seed. They are also on holy seed. On holy seed, you, that you can see in Ezra chapter 9, verse 2, on holy seed. The seed of the woman is the holy seed. Okay. Now, I want to start from there. The holy seed, not the unholy seed. All right. Now, Genesis 3, verses 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed... And her seed, do you see this holy seed and unholy seed? The children of same pen said, You are of your father the devil. John 8 44. You are of your father the devil. Those ones that were thinking that the, uh, Abraham, let me be, yeah, in, in the holy language, be called Abraham. Okay, <clears throat> the one you call Abraham. So they were thinking that Abraham, 
is their father. He also showed and said, uh-uh, come, let me point it to who is your father, the serpent. That is the seed of serpent you are. And we have them everywhere today. Now, you see the holy seed. Okay. Now, in Genesis, he said, in the beginning. What beginning what? What beginning beginning? Simply means, in the beginning of Abba Yehua gene on earth. That's what it means. In the beginning, beginning what? The beginning the gene of Abba Yehua here on earth. That is the holy seed. Now, we want to begin. We want to read some part, uh, Genesis chapter 5. It's all about genealogy. Only this part I'm going to read and I will not sh you know, rush down to Revelation 12. We also have a seed over the holy seed. Now, listen. Now, Genesis chapter 5. This is the seed, holy seeds. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In that day, in, in the day that Yehovah created man, man in the likeness of Yehovah made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years and begot and begat a son in his own likeness after he his image and called his name Seth. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were eight hundreds years and he begat sons and daughters and all the days that adam lived were 930 years and he died another generation carried on another gene seed and seth lived a hundred of five years and begat enoch and seth lived after the after he begat enoch 807 years and begat sons and daughters and all the days of Seth were 925, and he died. Nine. And Enoch lived 90 years and begat Cana. And Enoch lived after he begat Cana 818 um, um, years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 900 and five years and he died you see the, you see the seed this is how it spread spread to even to death if unto eternal because the beginning beginning the gene of Abba Yehovah it is eternal <clears throat> it is remarkable two of them and Kahana lived 70 years 70 years and begat Metujele and Kahana lived after he begat Metujele 840 years and because sons and daughters and all the days of Kahana were 910 years and he died. 15. Um, um, Mahalele, okay, Mahalele, excuse me. Mahalele lived and uh, five years and begot or begot uh, Jared. And Mahalele lived after he begot Jared 830 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Mahalele were 800 and Five years, eight hundred and eight hundred, yeah, and ninety-five years, and he died. And Jared lived a hundred, hundred. Oh my father lived a hundred six and two. Okay, hundred and sixty-two, a hundred and sixty-two years, and he begat Enoch, the seventh. Okay, and Jared lived after he begat Enoch eight hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Jared we had nine hundred. 62 years and he died. Now 21. Uh, Anuk lived six, uh, 65 years and begot Methuselah. And Anuk walked with Yehovah after he begot Methuselah 300 years and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Anuka were 365 years. And Anuka walked with Yehovah and he was not for Yehovah took him. You see? Because it's, it's, the several always carry weight, several always carry glory. It is the completement. So the several can die, be raptured. From him we get the notion. From him we get this lesson of this glory of being raptured, cut up with a glorified body. Okay, because it's the seventh means perfection. You're not gonna taste death. He's not the one coming. He's among the two witnesses. He's in the one. Because he, he, he represents we that is also going to rapture that won't test death. He represents us. 
Okay, it is a Yahu and Moshe. They are the one coming because the body of Moshe Abba Yehua also took it and buried it. No where, no one know where it is. So that body is coming right back. He took it. Okay. <clears throat> Because the people he said there are some of you here, Matthew uh, 16, 28. He said there are some of you over here who will test, you can't test death. So we get this glory from Anuka. Anuka won't. He is coming powerfully, but not to die. Uh -uh. The two witnesses in Revelation 11, it is Moshe and uh, Eliyahu, the one you call Elijah. Okay, now 25. And Methuselah lived 187 years and begat Lamech. And Methuselah lived after he begat Lamech 782 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Methuselah were 900, the most you know, glorious, <laughs> longest years. And all the days of Methuselah were 969 years and he died. And Lamech lived 182 years and begat a son and he called his name Noah, saying, This same shall Comfort us concerning our work and talk of our hands because of the because of which he, because of the ground which Yahweh had caused. And Lamech lived after the after he begat Noah five hundred and uh, ninety five and begat sons and daughter, daughters. And all the days of Lamech were seven hundred and seventy seven years, and he died. And Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah had. Noah, Begah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. This is the gene, seeds. You see, keep going on. When it goes to Numbers chapter 1, you see, you know, seeds over the lineage, genealogy. When it also goes to Numbers chapter 2, the same. Okay, Matthew chapter 1, verses 1 to 17, another glory. Look, uh, 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 is it Luke chapter 3? Let me, let, let me be sure. Yes, Luke chapter 3, 23, way down to 38. I want to see the beginning again. What beginning what? I want to read some portion of it, not all. Luke 23, excuse me, Luke 3 verses 23. And Yehoshua himself began to be about 30 years of age, being as it was supposed, the son of Yasuf, which was the son of Hela or whatever. So that is the place I want to read. As I suppose we know he don't have earthly father. 38, now listen, we goes way back again. Just the way I read it in John 5, you see all of them over here again. Why should I take it? No, it will be too long for me to do. Let me read 38. He said, which was the son of Enos? Okay. Should I take it from where, 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 where? Okay, now. 37. Which was the son of Methuselah? Which was the son of Anuk? Which was the son of Yared? Which was the son of Mahalele? Which was uh, Mahalele? Yeah. Which was the son of Kahana? Which was the son of Enos? Which was the son of Seth? Which was the son of Adam? Which was the son of God? Did you get that? You see how he still take it again? Way, 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 way back again. This is the seed, holy seed. So where is the unholy seed? Hmm? Where is Cain? Why is it not registered over here? Because he is the unholy seed. You see how he's being cut off, chopped off? Because he is the seed of serpent. Okay? He belongs to the group of destruction. It's not holy seed. You see the genealogy, you see the seeds, holy seeds of Abbe Yehoah. See, trace it back way again to Genesis where we are coming from. So Genesis simply means the beginning of the gene of Abbe Yehoah. Now I want to also do another part, Revelation 12, listen now. Revelation 12 verses 1. There appeared a great wonder. It is a great wonder for Abbe Yehoah to begin his own gene here on earth. You know, Yahushua, the biblical Messiah said, I am our father, we are one. Mm -hmm. I am our father, he's going to be a husband. He's going to be a father, natural. Just as he himself was being birthed, natural. Is not a spiritual child. Abba Yahweh did not got his mother pregnant spiritual. He did it just as we read right at part three. No man, just you and man. He went through those process. As a man and a woman also is going through the process. He target when the she, the Mariam, was in an ovulative time. When she releases egg, Abba Yahweh interrupts her in order to plant his seed. 
just normal the way it is because it's the seed of the woman. He said, uh, in conception, you're gonna, you, you, you say, I'm going to multiply, multiply your pain in conception. So what comes before conception? It is this ovulation, releasing of the egg. Okay, he went through it all. So that is the sign, the great signs and wonders, you know, that took place over here. Because for Abbe Yehuah to have a gene here on earth, it is signs and wonder. He said, they appeared a great signs. Oh, my father. In heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her forehead a crown of twelve stars. Who are they? Who are they? And she, being with a child, cried traveling in birth, and pain to be delivered. She is pregnant. Okay, who are they? Crown of twelve stars on her head. Oh, my father, what is this noise? We see the sun, and we see the moon, and we see the star. And the stars are angel, okay? You can also see it if right away in that same very chapter again. Stars are angel, okay? We see it everywhere. Now, what is the moon? The moon is the lost glory of Adam. And what is the sun? The sun is Yahushua, the greater light, to restore back the fallen state of the first Adam, the holy seed, to cleanse the genealogy, to cleanse every pollution in our blood vessel that is his job you see it now he is the son he is the son the greater son okay to give light to the whole world mm -hmm. and the lesser moon which was the first Adam that fell from glory okay but through the son now although some also said that this moon gets his, he have the source of his own light but some also said the son needs to reflect the moon but all I know, the moon is the greater, uh, the sun is the greater light to rule the day. That is all I know. Now, which means the sun is greater than the moon. Now, which is the, uh, the second and eternal Adam is greater than the first Adam. He is restoring back and cleansing the genetic, uh, genet genetic modifier organism in us by the serpent. The death he placed in us, the pollution he placed in us is the very job the second and eternal Adam is doing to remove all filthiness from the lineage, from the seeds of Abbe Yehua, so that we will return back to angelic be we once was before the fall. So that is the job of the biblical Messiah. He has done a lot of it, just about a few parts to go, okay, to cleanse or tally. Like he said, Daniel chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. He said to finish transgression, to anoint the most holy place. We are the most holy place. That needs to be anointed for uh, end of transgression, for end of sins, to remove iniquity, to usher in everlasting righteousness. He is the second and eternal Adam, the greater light, to consummate it all, mm, to restore back the folly state or the folly seed of his father. So, family, we are done. This is the mystery of stone. We are well done. Hallelujah. So, family, stay tuned. A mother, like I said, want to throw out another judgment of this imbecile, this lunatic, this Jezebel, this Delilah. Let's say the same this wife of destruction, call her herself Iyuri. We want to throw out another judgment upon her or murder. Okay, like I said in the first video, Biblical New Year again, if you, if you listen to part one, you already established that the Biblical New Year. Okay, we are about to enter into 2019. So that will be released fifth day of the week, the very day you call Thursday. All right, so we are done. To Abbe Yehua be all praise, to him be all glory. Mm -mm. It is awesome. Hallelujah. Abbe Yehua, you are awesome. You are wonderful. You are powerful. Not like you. Mm -mm. Not like you. Hmm. Hallelujah. All glory unto you. Honor, adoration, worship, eternal. Unto you. Hallelujah.
people write songs about. Let me know if love people write songs about. All I cry for is love, 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 endless love. I have your love as my father. I have your love as my king. I have your love as my brother. I have your love. As my hop, I have your love. As my husband, I have your love. As my savior, I have your love. As my best friend, I still want my love to go. Sex, sex, sexual love. Since the king, the tono second Adam, is going to be having a wife. Why can't I be the one? Why can't I fall on me? Why can't I win that seat? Sex, sex, sexual love. Just as Abigail did, she asked the royal king how to marry. Just as Ruth did, she asked both has how to marry. So do I now. So do I now, as you hold your hands in my red. My tears needs to wash your feet, my hair needs to dry your feet, my soul needs to bless your feet, my tongue needs to kiss your feet. Holy well needs a holy scepter, holy, holy, holy of holy. Come and show me what this new love is. Please come and teach me what this sexual love is. Please come and fill me with this new white love. Ooh, show me. Oh, let me see it now. I'm sorry family, I didn't finish my job over here, Revelation 12. I'm back here again, quickly. I said, Revelation 12, 1. We are talking, we are, the last letter is the holy seeds. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. And upon her, for, upon her head, a crown of twelve stars. We know stars are angels, okay? Now listen now. And she being with child, cried trivially in birth. And pain to deliver it. Okay. And there appear another wonder. Which is the father of the unholy seed. Now who is this woman? That's what I, what, what I came back to establish. Who is she? It goes into dimensional. Woman as a ministry. The people of the book. And woman as a wife. The biblical messiah. The, 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 the uh, biblical messiah's wife. This is the crown on her head, 12 stars. 12 stars, okay? Now she's pregnant, okay? Bringing forth what? A child. So here is revealing the glory of the fallen state. Now, every seed here is being polluted. And that is the reason for Sharia law. 
the one that will be saved will be saved. A lot is going into damnation. And who is going to repopulate the earth? Just at the first Adam is supposed to repopulate the earth, in like manner the second Adam is going to fill the whole world with his own children. The children that will not sin, the angelic children, children that is going to worship Abbe Yehovah just as their father worship Abbe Yehovah. It's, it's, it goes into it goes to two dimensional. This cannot be the murder of Yahushua. No. This cannot be the murder of Yahushua, okay? He is speaking to a woman, a ministry, a woman as a wife. Mm? The holy ministry these days, like mine, is a holy ministry giving birth to the biblical Messiah, which is the truth. And we see another wonders that came out from there. When you go to Revelation 17, you also see an unholy woman. Revelation 12 is a holy ministry. Revelation 17 is unholy ministry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, like what I'm doing now, I'm bearing fruit. Fruit, holy one, to Yehoshua HaMashiach as a holy woman. Okay. Now, I will now take it to, down to that a marital covenant. It's his wife. It's his wife. Okay. He's going to fill the whole earth with his own holy children. Because he is the reason for this message. Stop. Okay. He's going to fill the whole earth. After Sharia law have removed all this unholy seed. He himself will now repopulate the earth. Just as the first Adam. And fill the whole earth with a holy seed. From his own wife. Twelve stars. The woman pregnant. So these twelve stars. I, 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 first of all once of violet. Powerful king. Okay? Twelve stars. For me, I don't expect for the biblical Messiah's wife to be given birth one or two, as a normal women do. Is is a sign. Is the sign of this woman twelve twelve children. Okay, no plantation, but being planted by the second and eternal Adam in a womb. That is the miracle. He said, "I and the children." Isaiah uh, Isaiah eight verses eighteen said. I and the children, yeah, who are given unto me, we are for signs and wonders. So if his wife not begin to put to birth, a bed, a one or two, no, no, it's still a normal man. There is no signs and there is no wonders over there. Said so this sign that appeared here on earth from heaven, it is a great and a wondrous sign. So to my best understanding, his wife is going to be at each bed is going to be 12, 12 children at a time. Because that is the power of his rulership. Number 12 simply means his governing system. So that is the sign on the head of his wife. Okay. Another glorious sign as a ministry. But here I'm talking to a sign of his own wife. Alright. So this is where I quickly want to establish. Alright now. Finally we are done. Mm -hmm. Shalom.